Hello again, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and today we're doing a hands-on review of the MacBook Pro with Retina Display. So this is the new version that's come out in the fall of 2013, and the one that I'm going to be showing you today has the 512 gigs of hard drive space with that PCI Express, uh, amazingly fast, solid-state drive. It has the 2.3 gigahertz processor. It has the the retina display it has all of that so this is the high end almost the highest end macbook pro that you can buy and we're going to be talking about it today we're going to talk about why i purchased not just one of these but i actually purchased two so again whenever i talk to you guys uh, about technology and business remember the, the the thing that i really try to pound into your head is not how much ram you need or the processor speed or any of that but that you really need to think about what problem you are trying to solve for. That really all we're doing at the end of the day is we are finding problems and we are solving problems. Sometimes you solve problems with Linux for free, sometimes you solve problems with Windows, sometimes you solve problems by buying ridiculously expensive Mac computers. So these, these computers, these MacBook Pros are very expensive, but for what I am doing, they are well worth the cost. So as you guys know, basically this is my entire business. I do web content creation, these technology classes. So I was running into a few problems trying to use my Windows computers. Well, not really a few problems. I was running into a lot of problems, right? I was having problems with viruses. I was having problems with, with my, my hardware being a little fussy. Basically, after a number of days of having continuous issues with my PC, I decided I had had enough. So basically how my setup is done here is I have special hardware uh, that's from a company called Black Magic, and I control that hardware and I record the video using a computer. So I was using my PC before. My PC has 16 gigs of RAM, it has a three gigahertz i7 processor, it has a nice graphics card in there, it has a one terabyte solid state drive, but it would just keep freaking the hell out for the most obnoxious reasons. So I hadn't really done anything technical, I hadn't really done anything special, and all of a sudden, uh, stuff stopped working. So I decided it was worth the price for me for $2,500 to go out and buy one of these MacBook Pros with the Retina's display just so I would not have that issue anymore. So I went out and I purchased one of them for doing the recording of the video, and it has been a great thing. Now that I have the the MacBook Pro with Retina display. Um, I haven't had any issues recording any of my videos. They have been very, very good quality videos, and I have also been able to start doing live streams in high definition. So not only has this allowed me to, to do what I was doing more easily, but it's also allowed me to increase the types of content that I was creating. So basically, that was my first problem. That's why I bought my first MacBook Pro, was because you know I was having this problem recording the videos, and again, there were all these obnoxious issues. And the final issue was just Media Express, this is a particular product that I use to record the videos, literally just stopped working on the PC. Who the hell knows why? It just stopped working. There was nothing on the support. There was no drive. It was just like Windows just decided to do an update and, and, and it just stopped working. And I spent literally an entire day troubleshooting the problem and, and, and couldn't fix it. And that was an entire day I couldn't work. So the reason I bought the first MacBook uh, Pro was so that I could do this video recording more easily. Now the reason I bought the second MacBook Pro, and I literally actually just bought that today, is because one of the things that I do for you guys is I do these demonstrations, right? I create virtual machines or I show you different things uh, on the computer. Computer. And again, one of the problems that I was having with the Windows uh, laptops that I was using is they kept flaking out for random weird reasons. They weren't particularly fast, they weren't particularly great to begin with, and then there were just all of these little obnoxious problems. So what I decided is I got the MacBook Pro, because now, like I say, the MacBook Pros work really, 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 really well. I've, I've had the one now for like two weeks, and I have this other one just for the day, but they work well. They work smoothly. There are are no issues. When you click a button, the button works. There isn't any quirky stuff going on. It's just it's just a very, very, very smooth, easy experience. So the reason that I got the, the second MacBook Pro, and I got the $2,500 version of that, is because it has a lot of resources so that I can do things like virtual machines. So it has 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM. It has that, that uh, what is it? It's a 2.3 gigahertz processor, but it turbo, when it needs it, it goes 
goes all the way up to like a 3.5 gigahertz processor and it has a PCI Express solid state drive. Now I can't tell you how wonderful that PCI Express solid state drive is, is again, most people when they buy computers, you know, you think about the RAM and you think about the processor and that's about it. The real bottleneck in most modern computers is the hard drive. And a lot of times, especially when you buy laptops, they give you 5,400 RPM hard drives, which are just, just piss poor. They're just really, really, really bad. So the thing is, with these uh, these MacBook Pros, with that PCI Express hard drive in there, they work incredibly well. They work incredibly fast, and they're just really, 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 really good computers. So let's go over to my little workbench right now so I can kind of show you what's going on with them because so far, as I say, they have just been really, 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 really great. So basically, this is the MacBook Pro with Retina Display, and it looks like probably what you think a MacBook Pro should look like. Now, the Retina the display is it is impressively nice I am NOT a huge display guy but it really is amazing it's 2880 by 1800 resolution and when you look at the uh, the image when you're sitting down to take a look at it it looks really nice now on the side of it uh, you know you've got your normal power jack you actually have two Thunderbolt ports so that's kind of nice if you want to connect into multiple monitors or you want to connect into multiple Thunderbolt ports you can do that and it now has USB 3.0 connection so that was one of the problems for some reason with Apple they were a little late on the USB 3.0 uh, uptake uh, but now they, they are putting that on their products if we go over to the other side um, basically we have an HDMI port so this is what I plug into my system so I can now do demonstrations on the Mac so this is an output for HDMI that works very very well we have another USB 3.0 port and we have an SD card reader here so this is one thing that's nice a lot of people don't realize or don't think what Macs have is it does have a nice Nice little SD card reader in here and it works very well basically you know that's it that's the external part for the uh, for the the MacBook Pro one of the things I like about the, the MacBook Pro too is really nice is it has 802.11 AC wireless and it is really good again when we talk about the quirks and the problems that I have with my PCs and I have a lot of different PCs I have a home built PC I have an ASUS PC I have a gateway PC I have different types of PCs and one of the problems that I was having in my house was the wireless signal it was just it was flaky it was it's, it would sometimes it would work sometimes it wouldn't with these MacBook Pros they have connected to the wireless access point and they just simply 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 work really 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 well so let's go over to the actual screen now so I can kind of show you what's going on with this thing so again this is the MacBook Pro and we have it open up you know to the thing to talks about all of the the MacBook Pro things now the version that I bought if we click the little buy now button is like I say one of the higher end versions so I bought this one the 2599 one so it has a 2.3 gigahertz processor the 16 gigs of 1600 megahertz memory 512 of PCI Express uh, storage Intel Iris Pro Graphics, NVIDIA GeForce with two gigs of DDR5 memory, and the battery. Now the batteries on these, again, I never do, I never tell you guys how long batteries last because that's all kind of, uh, you know, it all depends on the user, but I have noticed, I mean, for a laptop computer, it works very, very well. Now, one of the things you guys are probably, a lot of people are screaming at me because they think, Eli, you're just a fanboy now. It's really dumb to spend that much money on a laptop. You're just a complete idiot. Now, the one thing that I will say, one of the reasons that I bought this particular version, even though it was a higher price, is do remember if you go out and you buy a Mac book uh, Pro or almost any of the Macs anymore, you can't upgrade them. So this is not the old days where you used to buy the Mac with four gigs of RAM and then you go to Best Buy and buy another 12 and shove it in there. Whatever this thing has when you buy it is what you're stuck with. So I figure I'm probably going to have these two computers for about two years. That's what my refresh cycle is. And so in that time, I am betting on both of them, I will chew up this amount of resources. So that is the thing to think about. I know there are other less expensive versions on here and you might be thinking Eli I'll just go for the $1,300 one but seriously in today's day and age in 2013 do you really only want four gigs of RAM do you really only want a 128 gig hard drive yes it's only $1,300 but 
as they say in life, there, there, there's probably a reason for that. So that is something to think about. Remember, you cannot upgrade these things. Now, what I love and what I just find to be absolutely fabulous is, again, the hard drive speed. So you have to remember, like I say, for me, I don't do a lot of video gaming, so I, I, don't, I don't show you guys video game tests or any of that. I do this kind of video encoding. And for me, hard drive speed is the most important thing. So I've done this test. So this is the test that Blackmagic gives with their products to show you how well your computer should function. And, you know, all of my other computers have functioned eh, okay. It's, they've passed about half the test. Even my PC with 16 gigs of RAM and a solid state drive, eh, it still only passed half the test. This is, I find, to be absolutely amazing. It is just fast. Oops, wait a minute. Let me do the wrong. Let me go up to five gigs here and we'll do the test. This thing is just, look at this thing. This is writing at 709, 710 megabits per second. And again, it's reading at about 730 megabits per second. If we go down here and it says, will it work? Basically, it'll show, it shows you that it will work with every video encoding uh, format that I may want to do here. So again, you know, whatever profession you're doing, whatever you are doing specifically, you should find out what tests you need to run. This is the main test that I use. And like I say, it just works beautifully, beautifully, beautifully well. And that's really, really all there is. I mean, like I say, to, uh, to, to, to taking a look at the, uh, the MacBook uh, Pro with, with Retina Display. Again, I've had the one now for about two weeks and it is just a fabulous thing. It is incredibly fast, it is incredibly stable, and it's things, like I say, you don't even think about. The fact that the wireless just works, it works perfectly. And I can't tell you, like I say, all of my other PCs are just flaky as hell on the wireless, even with AC cards, because I know that's what you're going to be thinking. You're going to be like, well, these have AC and maybe your other PCs don't have AC. No, I, I went out there and I, I bought AC cards for my PCs and they're still flaky as hell. These things just work. Yes, they're expensive, but they just work, which means now I can go and I can just do my job, which will hopefully pay me more money than these things cost. So that's one of the things uh, that you have to be thinking about, like I say, when you go out to buy a product. The other thing that I like about these, especially for me doing all this video editing, is that they are small. I mean, these are laptop computers, so like four and a half, five pound laptop computers that are more powerful than my desktop computer. And so I can pack up all of my gear in a decent little size bag and take it anywhere in the world and not really have to worry about it and still have all of the power I need. I'm not, I'm not trying to use a netbook to try to encode my videos. So, uh, so yeah, I, I am ecstatically happy. I really, 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 the MacBook Pros with Retina displays are just absolutely fabulous. Now, the one warning that I will give you is because for some reason, Apple is doing the same dumb crap a lot of companies do where Basically, they keep selling like an older product because it's less expensive um, alongside all their new products. So there is the old MacBook Pro, which they are still selling, or at least they're still selling, I think, as of today. The the MacBook Pro without Retina Display. So these are the MacBook Pro with Retina Display. And the MacBook Pros with Retina Display, whatever version you get, have the PCI Express uh, drive, which is just absolutely fabulous, makes everything perfect to just just be on wonderful do realize if you go out and buy the macbook pro it will be a lot less expensive but it still has that old crappy type of hard drive uh in it and so it will be a lot slower the performance in it will be piss poor compared to these macbook pros with retina display so please 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 keep that in mind because you're going to go out you're going to see these you're going to go, wow, that's really expensive. And then right beside it, you'll see the old MacBook Pro. And you go, I don't want to spend that much money. I want to spend, I want to buy that. And then you're going to get that home and you're going to cry and whine because it kind of sucks. And really that thing is obsolete and they should have stopped selling it as soon as they brought these out, but they didn't because I don't know, they didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that's really all there is to say about the MacBook Pro. It's, it's, it's amazing. The AC networking is great. The PCI Express drive is absolutely awesome. 16 gigs of really fast RAM. The, uh, the SD card in there is good. There, there, there's, there's wonderful products that simply work well. So you, if you need one, definitely I would argue you should go out and buy one. Like I say, I bought two. So, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy. This was the hands-on review of the MacBook Pro with Retina Display. As always, I enjoy taping this video and look forward to seeing you at the next one.